My name is John Grady, and I'm an artist based in Seattle. Right now I'm at Craters of the Moon National Monument um, and with my team we're installing a large project but I wanted to pause from what I'm doing and just speak briefly about uh, a piece of sculpture, a piece of jewelry by Alexander Calder. It doesn't have a title um, but it's a hammered brass piece that's meant to go around your neck. I was born in Minneapolis and as a young kid I was very inspired by Calder. I remember making small circuses um, in the vein of what he would do and I think it's safe for me to say that he's one of the major influences. I think working and being inspired by him as a small kid really um, inspired me to become an artist and one of the things I love about Calder is the way in which so much of what he does is about play and I can just see that he's found a way to make work and make himself very happy in the process so I've taken that to heart and one of the things I like in particular about his piece is that it's simple, it's spare. It's also interesting to me because I'm not familiar with Calder's jewelry. It's not the vein of work that I know as well as his circuses or his mobiles, his stabiles. I find it interesting that, that there's mention of his saying specifically that he didn't want to make jewelry that was made by others. It's um, needed to be something that was done with his own hands. And that's something that I wrestle with and have come to appreciate as an interesting factor because so much of what I do is of such a large scale that I have to have other people working on it with me. One of the aspects of Calder's uh, hammered brass piece uh, that I like a lot is its simplicity but also this kind of radiating uh, series of, of repetitive forms and it's a really nice kind of coincidence that the piece that the, the Smithsonian has in its collection of mine has a real kind of direct relationship to his piece. I like thinking that somehow it inspired me without my knowing it. His is directly jewelry meant to be worn around the neck, whereas the piece that I've got in the collection, Shoal, is really just to be suggested to be around a person's neck. It's a much larger scale, but it also shares a kind of minimal palette of taking one form and repeating it in quietly different ways.